M0FXB, welcome, and we're now looking at the 705 wireless LAN features. Uh, I still haven't got my head around it, but I thought I'd do a quick video on where I've got so far. So if you look at the 705 at the moment, there's a, uh, a wireless LAN square here, but it's different because I have told the 705 to act as a hotspot. So, and once doing that, if you look at my phone, or the Android phone I'm using here, I am connected to, you know, the phone is connected to the signal coming out of the 705. It says no internet, so we've, we've got some success so far. Um, we're now sort of reading through the manual. Um, we've got some settings here where we can change the wireless LAN output select. So I'm thinking of looking at that next. Um, I'll just say that, you know, before you do this, it does make sense. You do have to go into the settings and create a password. Otherwise, it just won't work. Um, so if I just move my phone, see if I can uh, go back in. Just get this a bit clearer. So I just went menu, set, um, wireless LAN, and I had to, and I obviously turned it on. Network name. I haven't done that yet. So you've got remote settings as well. Um, I haven't got that software. So look, connection type here. At the moment, we've got access point. Um, so, now what other choices do we get? Station connect to network. Now, I haven't done that, so I might just do it in a second. In a second, connection settings for access point. And do you remember there is an access point button? Um, I'll show you where that is. Menu. DV gateway, and look, access point mode. So I, I, I don't actually know <clears throat> um, how to use that yet. Gateway select, internal gateway, wireless LAN, external gateway. So there's another thing. So I'm hoping that eventually you'll be able to use things like Doozy um, uh, wirelessly with this new firmware upgrade. And uh, only PA7 LIM would know that. So... It's just a video, I'm just letting you know I'm looking at it, I'm not sure. There's a gateway IP, terminal gateway type. So let's go back to where we were, menu, set, wireless LAN, uh, on connection type. So let's just change the connection type to station, connect to network. No, it won't even let me select that. So, um, have a look. Any ideas, put some comments. I'm sure it's straightforward. <clears throat> let us know how what we can do with these new functions. We're just going to go menu, DV gateway. I'm going to select access point mode. Um, select... Hang on a minute. Try and get back into my DR, my memories. No, let's try DR. No, it's not letting me go into DR. Maybe I'll, what I'll do, I'll come out of access. Sorry about this. DB gateway. Let's go back to normal mode. Right, let's get into DR. Uh, might as well have the scope on there. Always looks funky. Right. Um, so let's go back into access mode. DV gateway. Access point mode. That's interesting. It takes us straight to VFO. Now, is that because that's the frequency we can communicate now? So let's just choose a frequency which we can communicate on. Uh, right. Now, just out of interest, I'll see if it will let me transmit. 
No. So, yeah. So, anyway, it's new. So, have a look. Um, we're going to suss this one out. Uh, just playing around. Uh, catch you later. But you can see a little cloud has appeared. So, I'm ho really hoping that we can do terminal mode. Um, no, not to. We know we can do terminal mode wireless. That we can do um, terminal mode in access point mode wireless. So, then we can walk around uh, with our handheld. Something like that. 7-3. Catch you later. M0FX. Be clear.